Hey, welcome back guys to the video. Yeah, finally back here on um, Metal Gear Solid 2. We're doing very easy to begin with and then um, we're going to be getting all the dog tags. We're going to be getting 37 out of 52 trophies. So if you thought there's quite a lot of trophies on this and it can be quite overwhelming, we're going to get pretty much all of them out of the way here. And all that's going to be left is just some sort of um, some of the MISC modes, the extra modes. And um, the others will kind of be related to Big Boss Rank and the Unlockables. We get all the um, miscellaneous trophies out of the way, all the story trophies. Yeah, 37 out of 52. So yeah, we're going to do very easy. This is actually going to be part of my Platinum walkthrough as well. Uh, but I'm going to release this as its separate video. I'll have a text guide for this as well. You can refer to the description and you'll find the link in there. Um, if you do want to just look in text for everything. All the dog tags will be mentioned, the names, everything you have to do, all in there guys. So if you do want to look ahead or um, you missed something I said, yeah, look in text guide and it's all in there. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we're just going to come over to the um, screenplay book and just scroll through every single page. There's literally like 800 pages here. Just scan through them all quickly guys and then we'll pop the trophy at the end. I'm just going to skip forward a little bit. Right, so that's a bit of it skipped. All the way up to page, what is it, 830? Or something. But yeah, you get a trophy guys, cover to cover solid 2. Books of the Patriots. Read all the pages in the screenplay book. So the way we're going to do this, yeah, I'm going to walk you through everything. Um, We will be getting the trophy here for getting no alerts. I mean, you have to get three there, sort of mandatory. You know, story related, but you can't get any more. Um, if you don't get that, do not worry, guys. When you go for big boss rank at the end, to get big boss rank, you have to do it without any extra alerts and without killing anybody. So two trophies connected to being, you know, pacifist, killing no one, and having no alerts, you'll automatically get it on your big boss rank playthrough. So if you don't get it now, do not worry, guys. We're not going to be getting the one for not killing anybody because this trophy is related to killing people. So we're going to be getting that out of the way here. So yeah, very easy guys. You want radar type 1. And let's jump in. So it might take a bit of getting used to when it comes to holding up enemies. Because if you're doing, the, if you're doing like a, a, the wrong sequence of actions, the enemies can see you. Um, but I'll try to explain it all along the way guys as we go. So just please pay attention. We need to get a fix. So you can skip cutscenes, to skip cutscenes you just press square twice, where you press square twice to skip a code it call, or a triangle twice, and to skip a normal video cutscene just press options. Right, so um, you need to raise your gun, so you hold L1, hold square, and you need to come to the front of the enemy and point at the head or their groin area, and then they'll shake and they'll drop a dog tag. And you're going to tranquilize that guy, he'll actually first trophy animal control, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do with each enemy. Whether you want to tranquilize them or knock them out with a melee combo or break the neck. There's trophies connected to each of them three things I just mentioned. So you're going to tranquilize that one. You're going to tranquilize this one as well. So yeah, you point your gun at him from the back. Just be careful when you're in front of the enemy, do not lower your gun because then they will see you. If you want to lower your gun to attack and whatever, you need to make sure you're behind them. Yeah, so same with him guys. Make him drop his dog tags and then try and collide him by hitting him in the head. If you hit them in the head, they'll always go down in one hit on very easy. Now if the guard's just below, she took too long, just wait at the top of steps for him to walk to the steps and then for him to walk back again before he can do this. Now hold up this guy and then shoot his radio. That's his radio just there guys. Shoot it, you've got that trophy. Silence is golden. Yep, then you're going to come around the front of him. Point him, point at his... Um, his groin area or his head and till he has a little shake and drops his dog tag and then this guy you want to knock him out for melee combo so just spam circle yeah so when you do it you want to come behind you want to press r2 to put your weapon away otherwise you're going to fire it and then you can combo him or alternatively when you're at the front of the enemy you can pause the game and then they go off square and then unpause it and you'll still have your gun raised but you won't be holding square no more and then you can just spam circle that way. That's another little tip I do sometimes. So this guy just runs straight around here and knock him out with a melee combo. 
That's a trophy for killing, well, for knocking out 30 enemies with a melee combo. So that's what we're slowly working towards. Yeah, so you're going to hold up this guy. Make sure you do not go in front of his line of sight. Hold him up, point him at his head or his um, little friend down there. And then afterwards, knock him out and get his dog tag. So I did the pausing method there, where you pause the game, let go of square, and then unpause it, and then your gun will still be pointing, but you're not holding square no more, so you're not going to shoot him by accident. This guy, going to knock him out first thing, because he is a stubborn guard. Yeah, some of the guards, they kind of think they're tough, and they weren't, they weren't dance for you straight away, and uh, shake out dog tag. For them guys, you need a lethal weapon, which you don't have yet, so we just knocked him out straight away. Make sure you hug the wall, when you go beneath that camera, otherwise it will see you. Open the soccer guys, grab a shaft grenade. We don't use it, uh, but you need it for the all weapons trophy with Snake. Come here, quicker come around this corner guys. Aim at that guy and shoot the fire extinguisher before he walks back. You get that trophy down in smoke. We are going to be doing all this again on easy by the way. So if you mess anything up here, don't worry. We're going to be doing all this again pretty much on easy. There'll be a few more enemies. You're going to come through here, make sure you stick close to the wall guys so that camera don't see you. Hold this guy up, but if you're quick, you stun him with fire swing share, come around there, wait for him to turn around and then come and hold him up from behind. And then get his dog tag, then knock him out with a melee combo afterwards. If you want to know why some enemies I'm tranquilizing them and some enemies I'm knocking them out, it's because in the areas, which is going to be in for a long time, if you knock them out, uh, they're going to... They're likely going to wake up before you leave that room and cause an alert. So that's why some areas I'm tranquilizing the guards. Right, so we'll go back Russian before he came out the bridge. You want to come to this far corner, guys, during this boss fight. Jump over this railing, just press triangle right in the corner. And um, you want to wait until she leans over the railing with her gun. And then press triangle to get back up. And then quickly try to shoot her. And then get back down and just repeat, guys. There's a lot of ways to do this. I find this way works quite well because it always for it always forces her to run into the same spot. Otherwise, it can be quite tricky trying to hit her, especially on big boss difficulty. Um, so hopefully, if you can get used to this method, and hopefully it works well in big boss rank as well. And um, I've not tried it there yet. I only kind of learned this on very easy, but I'm hoping it works quite well on the higher difficulties. So, what might happen? Yeah, so as soon as she leans over the, the gun, stand up straight away. She might catch you one time. But the key to do this is when you stand up, as you're jumping over, hold L1 and square. And you'll automatically lock onto her, more or less. But don't shoot straight away. You want to wait a moment before you fire. Because normally if you just shoot as soon as you can, you'll miss. You want to wait a moment and then fire, guys. And that's it. Once you kill her, yeah, make sure you use your M9. Uh, pick a body up and release it and she'll drop a dog tag Climb down here There's a tower up them steps guys and there's some thermal goggles at the top, but you're not going to need them Right when you get around here this guy's going to come out just going to hold him up Come around the front of him point at his head or his groin Unequip your weapon and then knock him out once he drops the dog tag Dog tags will disappear if you don't pick them up quick enough by the way the disappear after about I think it's about 15 seconds yeah, then pick up that cardboard box on the right there. The cardboard wet box. Right, grab that USP ammo. I forgot to get it. I am going to be coming up in a second. Yeah, grab that USP ammo, guys. Now, what you want to do here, you want to knock on the wall to attract that guard. There's a lot of ways to do this. I just like this way. Yeah, knock on the wall to attract him and then hide on the steps. Do not go too far up. If the camera changes when you're moving up steps, you're about to enter the next room. So if the camera changes, do not go up anymore. And then when he comes around to investigate, he'll walk past you and then shoot him in the head with a tranquilizer, guys, with the M9 to knock him out. Right, come in here. Yep, and now you want to shoot that camera with your USP. And this one I realized that I forgot to pick up the ammo. So I'm just going to come back up here, pick this ammo I missed up. I missed, there it is. USP bullets times 15. Right, so again, keep to the back wall, guys, otherwise the camera will spot you. Yep, and you're going to shoot it for USP. There you go. There's a trophy for destroying five of them. Now be very quick here. Come straight into this room. Grab the M9 bullets. Grab the cardboard box one. Come back out here. 
and wait. You can see that guy comes up steps. He always comes when you go in the pantry, but he'll go back down to be quick. And once he turns back, run behind him and hold him up. He's a stubborn guard, so you can have to shoot the ceiling above him. You don't have to shoot him, just shoot anywhere near him and it will scare him. And then wait for him to drop the um, dog tag. There you go, and then knock him out. Right down the steps. So now we're going to destroy his camera, guys, with our lethal weapon, the USP. And then back down here. So now we can hold up this guard as well, this stubborn guard. Just come here and wait for him to go back. Right, hop down behind him. Hold him up, come around the front, point at his head. And then shoot near him somewhere. Then run behind him as he's shaking out the dog tag. And then knock him out, guys. Once he's done so. Back up here and enter the Middle East room. Right. This is a new guard. It's not the same guard which was sitting down earlier. He's actually highly unmissable, I guess. Because as you see, he despawns and this guard takes his place. So you're going to hold him up, take his dog tag, knock him out. Then you're going to come down here. There's going to be another guard listening to the radio or something. I think it's listening to him, Abba. Oh no, it's not this guy, it's somebody else. He's playing with his friendly flies but yeah knock him out guys and um take his dog tag come up the steps all the way to the east and um take this door right so now we're going to take out this stubborn guard we knocked him out earlier if you remember but we're going to get a few misc trophies here as well come near open this locker here ready you can take the ration if you want yeah, open it later, ready. Right, we're going to wait now for him to come up to us and then turn back. I'm going to hold him up and get his dog tag. Right, hold him up. Freeze. Go around the front, scare him and then shoot near his body to um, make him drop his dog tag. Once he drops it, go behind him and grab him, guys. Now, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to actually... Yeah, I guess you can knock him out if you want. Oh, this might explain why I got the um, got his trophy a bit earlier. I got his trophy a little bit earlier than what I mentioned it in my text guide. And this might be why. So I don't normally knock this guy out. I normally just drag him straight here. Um, I guess it don't matter, actually. But yeah, you want to put him straight in the locker. Just drag him to that locker. And there you go. Guys, you got a trophy hurt locker. Uh, so probably what's more effective to knock him out. Probably why I did so. But yeah, lob him in the locker, guys. Get our trophy. And then open this locker. And use R1 to look at that nice picture and then while looking at it you want to call Otacon and it'll see see snake up to something naughty and get that trophy guys snake beater just call Otacon and then lock yourself inside to take your pants down look down and then hold R1 and the camera will slowly zoom in and you'll give her a kiss and get that trophy as well guys right close the locker Nobody will probably be able to open it now because it's probably a bit sticky. <laughs> They'll think it's been locked. No, it's just sticky. Solid semen inside it. Right, you're going to come in here. And I'm just going to make a save because if you mess things up in this engine room, there's a guard. He only appears on your very first Snake, you time you the actually One enter the room. If you leave and then come back in, he'll actually despawn. Uh, so you've got to be quite careful here. Well, maybe appear somewhere else, but, but, but this is the easier way. So grab them stun grenades on the way down, and then come in this room. Right, so yeah, this guard on the left. Freeze. Yeah, if you go out and come back in, he'll despawn. So just run into him to knock him back, and then hold him up, and you actually want to trank him, guys, after he drops a dog tag. Shoot. So yeah, once he drops it, trank him with the M9. Yeah, that's Jeff. They come over here, and if you're quick enough, you can just hang over there and wait. He won't see you, don't worry. And when he walks past you, drop down and hold up this guy. Once he drops this dog tag, you want to trank him. Because this is quite a big room, a lot of enemies to hold up here. This is why we're knocking them all out with the M9. Because otherwise, if we use the M, um, if we knock them out, they'll get up too quick. 
So yeah, this guy as well, this third enemy here. Hold him up and shoot him with the M9. Grab his dog tag. Okay, so we're going to get a trophy now for um, getting grip level 3, guys. There's not really a good way to do this. I mean, this is a good spot. But what I like to do, this is quite tricky. You'll see me do this a few times and then I'll edit the rest of it. Because it's going to take me like 10 minutes. Okay, so um, to get to grip level 2, you have to do 100 pull-ups. And to get to grip level 3, you have to do another 100 pull-ups. So 200 total. But when you drop from the railing like this, it equals 10 pull-ups. So you only have to do this 10, uh, 20 times to get grip level 3. But the tricky thing is, you jump over the railing with triangle. Um, I'm playing PS5 by the way, so I'm just going to reference that. If you're playing a different ver version, um, obviously just translate controls on whatever buttons you use. So you yeah, press triangle to jump over it, then it's X to drop down. And then you need to spam triangle, so you grab the one at the bottom. But it can be a bit tricky, if you don't spam it quick enough, or your timing is a bit off, you might miss it and you might die. If you do die, don't worry, all them dog tags you've already got in this room, they'll still be saved. And um, it doesn't matter if you uh, use a continue anyway, don't worry about it. And any pubs you've done already will still be saved. So yeah, if you die, don't worry, just come down here. You won't need to worry about dog tags then, I guess you could just kill the enemies then. Or trank them, or whatever. Yeah, kill or trank. Then just keep doing this guys. What I like to do, the reason you see me pause in the game... Because normally it can be awkward going from pressing X to spam and triangle. It can be a little bit awkward. And I find you lose a bit of you lose a little bit of time switching from X to triangle. And it doesn't quite get you give you enough time to really get your finger on that button and to really get spamming it. So what I like to do, I press X and then pause. So X pause. So what you've done, you've paused the game in midair. And then what I do then, I start spamming triangle. And then while I've got my spamming momentum going, I unpause the game. It just works better for me. So yeah, X to drop, so X start to pause. And then once the game's paused, start spamming it. Start spamming it. And uh, yeah, you'll probably sound, uh, you'll start panting a bit like Snake in that locker. Yeah, start spamming the button. And then unpause the game. And that normally works well for me. Yep, and Oddcom will call you once you hit level 2. And just keep doing it guys, like I say, you need to do this 20 times to hit grip level 3 and get a trophy. So um, I gave you my little tips to do it, just keep doing that guys, and I'm just going to make a little edit here. Hope I hope you don't die too much, I hope that portion trick actually really helps you. But yeah, they're the pull-ups you can do, it takes a long time, so it's quicker to just drop down and keep doing that guys. Right, here we go, this is where the trophy pops for me, I think this is the last one. And there we go guys, steel grip, so that's for reaching grip level 3. Like I say, there's not really a better spot to do it. I mean, there's a few spots like this, where there's two railings um, below each other, so you can do that. But it would be nice if there's three railings, or somewhere where there is a floor below you could drop onto. So if you missed, you wouldn't die. But there isn't a spot where that happens. I've looked, there isn't a spot with three railings, all in a, you know, all in a row, so fortunately... Yeah, that's pretty much all you've got. You have a few spots like that where it's just two railings. So this guy, go and hold him up. And then grab his dog tag. Yep, it might fall below like it did then. And um, if it does, just go down and grab it. And um, just come this way. You don't have to get every single dog tag, by the way. You just need to get a certain amount in order to unlock the unlockables. So if you miss one or two, it's not a big problem. Okay, grab that. Uh, weapon grenades and that should be that trophy guys weapon completionist tanker that's finding all the weapons as snake not too many to get i think you've got the usp the m9 which is still related on very easy and you've got chaff grenade stun grenade and normal grenades i think that's all you need right so when you come down here enemy's going to appear to the back once he spawns you're going to come down here and wait now try to hold him up before he gets a chance to use his radio otherwise when you're holding him up his mates will be calling back to ask him what's going on. So you hold him up. That's it. Knock him out. And then grab the dog tag. There you go. Come near. Now carefully shoot at that control unit. Do not shoot the C4. Not that flashing thing. You want to shoot the thing with the green light on it. That's it. And then open this door guys. And go through. Yes, yeah, so this bit can be a little bit tricky. 
Just follow my lead. So you're going to run all, all the way straight down here until you spot the first enemy. When you spot the first enemy, you're going to go in the room shortly on the right after seeing him. And... There he is. So, yeah, once you see him, guys, you might want to make a safe here just in case you do make any mistakes. There's a sleeping enemy around the corner and he's a bit of a nuisance. Yes, you might want to make a save uh, just in case he messes okay. up. So once you see our first enemy, go in the room just, that's it, just after you spot him. This room here, hide in this corner and shoot that with your silenced M9. That's it. He'll come over to find out what's going on. And he's going to hide in this corner. And then when he walks past you guys, going to hold him up. Nice, easy way to do that. Yep, hold him up, get a dog tag. Remember, do not lower your weapon when you're in front of an enemy. Otherwise, they will be alerted. Right. You want to trank him after getting his dog tag. Yep, because it's quite a long room. And he'll normally wake up before you get to the end. Yeah, then the second guy, I think, ah, this guy listened to Abba. Abba's greatest hits. Yeah, so um, he'll just come around the corner. As he walks around the corner, hold him up. Grab his dog tag and then tranquilize him. Now this guy, this is the awkward one, this guy's sleeping. Because sometimes your hold up will not work on him for some reason. So what I like to do, wait for him to go to sleep, grab him, that's it, and then let him go and then hold him up. That way, you're behind him. Yep, how funny that sounds. But yep, if you go around the front of him and your hold up don't work, he's likely going to see you. But if you grab him, drag him back slightly, let him go and then hold him up, you'll be behind him. And so it's just easy to hold him up that way. That's it, get his dog tag. You can knock him out because he's the last enemy in there and he's right near the exit. And then come here. Now this bit is a little bit awkward. And um, But you do need to do a bit of practice on this because it's going to be tricky on your big boss rank. But yeah, what you need to do here guys is you'll need your M9. And I just stay, I stay where I spawn. So do not move. Just stay where you spawn, crouched, and you want to use L2 to just pop in and out like so. Hold R1 to go in first person. Yep, just L2 every now and then. Now what the enemies will do, after they shoot, they will pause in place for about two seconds. So when the enemies are shooting, you obviously you'll take cover. And then when they stopped, you know that they're going to stay in place for about two seconds. And then once you kill the first four enemies, Three more will spawn in a line. You're going to try and kill two of them. And then the final enemy, let him come down to you and then shoot this pipe. If you miss, try to hit him and then shoot another pipe a bit closer. That's it. Now, do not spam the pipe. Yeah, we got a trophy, guys. Caution hot. Down an enemy with the steam from a pipe. Yeah, do not spam your bullets on the pipe. It doesn't matter if you hit it in the same place. The steam will keep coming out. You need to time it. Otherwise, you're sort of immune to it. So hit it. Wait for him to recover slightly. Hit it again. Wait for him to recover, hit it again, and so on. That eventually kill him, guys, and you'll get that trophy. Yeah, it can be a bit tricky, but really, in that little siege in there, yeah, this guy, take a picture of this guy in his underwear. Just make sure he's in the middle of the um, circle, and zoom in on him, guys, and take a picture. You know when you've took it in the right spot, because Snake will say, good, like this. Yeah, it will say good, so then you know it's a good picture. And do not, do not overwrite that picture, guys. If you take any more, for whatever reason, do not overwrite that one. You need to save it for a little bit later. You're going to come all the way down the bottom. Be careful. You do not want to be spotted. Crawl beneath this projector. Yeah, crawl beneath it. And this guy at the back here, you want to hold him up. Yeah, get his dog tag, and you want to trank him. Do not try to knock these guys out. It will not work. You need to trank these guys with your M9. Yeah, just get his dog tag. M9 in the head. Right, and then climb back up the ladder. Yeah, sorry, back to that siege for a moment. Yeah, if you don't take out the first three enemies quick enough, one of them will start lobbing a grenade, and you do not want that to happen. You want to try and get rid of the first four enemies quick, and then the final three will spawn at the end. They always spawn three in the line, and they always try to rush you. That's why you knock out the first two, and the third one, that's when you try to down with the, with the pipe. Right, so here, guys, make sure your health is full. Or you are grip level three. What happens if you have, if your health is not full for some reason, your grip goes down mega fast. It's same with your oxygen, I think as well. Yeah, if you do not have full health for some reason, your 
your stamina just goes mega fast so yeah that's if it's going down faster than what mine is that would be why guys because you're not full health but you can heal it's absolutely no problem in this playthrough so you're going to come here you're going to wait for that guy to walk back then you're going to jump back up guys hold him up get his dog tag and then shoot him with the m9 to knock him out do not use the usp here because it's very very loud and the enemies will likely hear you and be alarmed and they'll all look up at you so yeah this one as well just jump over the railing and head all the way across you only need to do this for the dog tags we're not going to be coming this way on big boss rank on big boss we're going to take the lower path and um oh by the way if i haven't said i think we're going to do this in three playthroughs so i think if you look if you look at a lot of guides and look elsewhere they'll tell you that you have to do very easy easy normal and big boss rank um very easy easy normal basically just for um dog tags and you need to complete the game for the first time to unlock extreme anyway yep once you come near guys you can hold up this guard yep shake out his dog tag and then try and collise him yep then you want to come over here and take a picture of the marines logo on metal gear you know you took the right one because it'll be like a little melody to say if, you know you took the right shots then come down this pole and hold up this guy here yep hold him up and then you want to grab him guys and drag him back yeah so drag him back here because you can't quite get in front of him drag him back and then hold him up straight away after come around his front yeah carefully do not run into these guys because they're a bit more alert and um, as you can see when I knocked him out uh, when I ran into him I had to hold him up again but yeah get his dog tag and then shoot him with the M9 and you want to come to this far south east corner and take a picture of Metal Gear from this angle so we've got the guy in the underwear and we've got two pictures of Metal Gear at the moment we're going to interrupt this terminal and when you submit your picture of the guy in his underpants you're going to get a trophy and we're also going to submit two of the pictures of Metal Gear one of the Marines logo and yep sexting yep send a picture I'm sure Oddcon's going to go and stand in the locker now of that picture yep and you'll submit the other two pictures right we're going to come in here now and get an, another misc trophy right so once in here you can see all the enemies look in your direction so just wait a minute for them to look away yeah they'll keep switching from left to right that's it and watch this loud grating you can either walk slowly across crawl across or roll across like I did rolling across is a call away and you want to come over here guys no need to zoom in just come to this corner the right side of the projectors and just look at this right screen no need to zoom in now it's a 30 percent chance for this to happen just keep taking a picture there there it is until Hideo appears yep just keep taking that picture guys like I say it's a 30 percent chance for him to appear and that comes from the official guide I don't think all the other trophy guides say that it's um, like a RNG thing yeah but the official guide says there's a 30% chance for him to appear so just keep spamming pictures and eventually he will appear as you can see there's no need to zoom in just make sure your camera is on the second screen that's it once you got that trophy guys head back across once the guards turn back to the left back through this door and we're going to take a picture of the final two uh, we need one from the front and one from the southwest. Just make sure you hug the south walls and you shouldn't be spotted. So the middle and then the southwest and then go back to terminal guys, submit the pictures and that's it. Yeah, there's something else I've, there's something I wanted to mention. Um I thought I mentioned it after I got through this bit, but I can't remember what it was now. Oh yeah, that's it with the um, the dog tags. Yeah, so um, a lot of guys will say you need to do three, play well, four playthroughs minimum, but it's actually three because what we're going to try and do in this platinum, guys, we're going to get dog tags on big boss rank. Looks you like might think that's going to be make it more harder than what it needs to be, but it's not. I don't think it will. That's what we're going to go for. So we're, we're doing all the dog tags on very easy, all the dog tags on easy. Yeah, you get a trophy, guys. Spaghetti cinema, still related. And the good thing is, so you do not need to get every dog tag on Big Boss rank. You do not need to get every one. Only about, I think it's going to be about 70% of the dog tags on Big Boss rank. 
assuming you get all the dog tags on very easy and all the dog tags on easy so yeah very easy dog tags easy dog tags and 70 percent of the dog tags on big boss rank so yeah only three playthroughs guys for this platinum not four okay so once you get control it's riding or jack you want to grab the m9 from under the shelf come to this middle locker grab the race the um, ration and then lay down amongst all these bugs and then equip it and you'll notice you'll get a bug appear that's it get a trophy guys for my rations get sea lice all over your rations just move around in there until they crawl on it and then all you need to do guys is keep equipping and unequipping your ration like so or quick you know hovering over it and then off and then on then off again and the bug will shortly jump off jump on the crates get the m9 bullets and then open this door guys and head through so yeah the tanker the tanker part uh, which you just done that's actually the smaller part of the game so this is the plant well the game refers to us yeah the plant we just did the tanker i was playing this on steam deck and the tanker section at the end with all the enemies it re it crashes the steam deck i just can't get past it because there's too many enemies on you know on screen i guess yeah it just keeps crashing the steam deck so yeah pick your code name well if you want opti's a good code name so yeah go flat if you want yep and then enter yep and then download right so um press exit oh yeah another thing guys you can actually hard reset your game well i guess soft reset you know back to start of the game somebody um i think it was it i have to check now sorry man i can't remember your name somebody mentioned it to me um in my comments yeah so once you interrupt this node guys these guys will slowly start to wake up you can see what way you're going to be facing so to make sure you're standing behind him and got your gun out ready and you automatically hold him up and get his dog tag yeah epstar runner yeah thanks for mentioning that to me yeah um to reset the game uh, without going using the node yeah and then this guy i'm just going to keep picking him up guys and dropping him to make sure he recovers quicker and we're going to get his dog tag as well so you get a dog tag from the first enemy and then a dog tag from the second enemy once he wakes up and then jump in the lift yes yeah, so epstar runner was saying to me um you need to press both the back uh, all four back buttons so you've got l1 l2 r1 and r2 so all the back buttons or shoulder buttons whatever you want to call them so all four of them and then the options button and the touchpad hold all them in for about five seconds and that will reset the game yeah i don't know why that other guy got up so quick is it because i knocked him on his mate i don't know uh, but you should be able to get in the um the lift guys before the other guy spawns uh, gets back up and calls the cavalry in so to speak right let's get back up here guys so we've got two dog tags up here crawl through this hole in the fence near little birdies there's a lot of bird shit there but you've got to do what you got to do right. crawl through it remember you've got a nano suit so it'll probably clean itself anyway yeah i'm gonna make a save here two trophies glitched for me by the way and i i am going to mention the trophies which glitch for me and give you like a workaround if it happens to you uh but if any stories if any trophies do glitch that i don't mention all you can do is like reload an earlier save and if it's like a story trophy watch a cutscene all the way because sometimes one of the one of the trophies which glitches for me is a story trophy and sometimes when you skip the cutscene it'll glitch a trophy maybe it's the only one i don't know uh, but i will mention that too and the box trophy glitched for me as well uh, but i'm going to give you a workaround so don't worry yeah so hold up this guy in the middle yeah trophy for getting all boxes you hold him up guys grab his dog tag and then knock him out with a melee combo right and watch out you have to knock out 30 enemies with a melee combo for a trophy you have to break 30 enemies necks for a trophy and then you have to knock 100 enemies out with your M9 for a trophy. Right, and that's a trophy, guys, for holding up 30 enemies. Yep, there you go. Hold up 30 enemies. Yeah, you got that one as well. 
Yeah, it's going to do this guy first to the north. Hold him up. So it's going to be tricky getting behind him here. So I'm just going to press a start. Use the start trick. Where it gets dog tag, I press start. Unpause it. But I release square when the game is paused. And then I knock him out afterwards. And then by the time we've done that, this guard should be walking to the southeast. If not, just wait a moment. And then get behind him. Just watch your feet on the loud flooring. Oh, I probably should have said this earlier. Yeah. You know that first guard? I had to walk slowly over the grate in there. Because it was loud. I actually have to put a, um, a note on this. Because I think that's going to catch you out. I could just see you running straight up to that first guy. Yeah, so make sure you're quiet when you're walking over the loud flooring. Yeah, get both of them dog tags and then come in here, guys. So be a cutscene. A few cutscenes when you first come in. Yeah, so straight after, grab the SOCOM suppressor and then equip the SOCOM and equip the suppressor and then it'll automatically be equipped. There you go. See on the bottom right, it's automatically slotted. Yeah, grab the SOCOM bullets just on the left there near the steps. Come around here. Through this door and open the left locker for some more sock on bullets. And then come in here. Right, you're going to go through here, guys, and grab a shaft grenade on the right. Yeah, grab them and then take the fire exit. Yeah, into the dining hall. Right, head forward for the bomb cutscene. So this is where they're going to give you the sort of bomb making tutorial. Now, the very first time, you can't skip this. Yeah, I mean, you can skip part of it, but when Stillman starts talking, yeah, you can't skip this now, so you have to watch all of it. It don't go on for too long. But we'll, try here instead. well, pretty much all you do as Raiden is dismantling bombs. Yeah, you sort of dis. I mean, you got the first bit. Now you're going to start dismantling bombs, and then you're going to have like the final bit. And that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty much all you do. And I actually don't remember the game being so short. I think Metal Gear Solid One is longer than this. I mean, I did play this back in the day. I remember having a lot of trouble with this game back in the day. And um, but coming through it now, it's just so simple. How long does the effect last? There's no way when you got like a, a strategic approach to it, yeah, it just it's quite simple to get through. But yeah, I, I forgot how small, how short it was, or, or perhaps I never completed it. I don't, I don't remember if I did back in the day. Uh, but yeah, he's going to give you coolant spray, and you use them. You see this bomb he's showing you. You use that to um, freeze a bomb, basically, and that will disable it, I guess. Because apparently putting a bomb in the freezer will um, defuse it, apparently. So, yeah, you use a coolant spray on it. Yep, and that's a sensor. Uh, but you don't need that, so I'm going to obviously tell you where they are. Uh, but I'll give it to you anyway. It looks more like, I don't know, a type of taser weapon. Yeah, you, you have a time limit as well where you can defuse them. Uh, but it's quite generous. It's it's shorter on other difficulties. Uh, but that's where the guides come in useful. But once you've got the first, I think it's the first five. Another door will open in here, and you have to grab another sensor, and you have to do that in order to access the sixth bomb, which is where we started the game. That's Raiden. Yeah, so just after this one, then it kind of lets you skip it. Don't forget that you need the radar to use the system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the. Yeah, when I when I got to the end of this, I had to. That's when I realised the um, one of the story trophies didn't didn't pop for me. And of course, the no box trophy. And I was doing a lot of messing about at the end of this, you know, at the end of this video, and I've sort of edited. I've edited in um, the trophies popping for me. And obviously, I'm going to mention you where to, where to make a safe. And some things I learnt while trying to um, get him trophies to pop. So as soon as you get control back, come straight out this door. And if you're quick enough, the guard here will be neutralised. Will be knocked out. And the cardboard box would have knocked him out. I have no idea who's in that cardboard box. Yeah, so this only happens if you're quick enough. And then when you come over here, guys, 
equip your SOCOM and shoot that camera. That should be number oh, three cameras out of five. Yeah, three cameras out of five, I believe. Right in here, you're going to come over here first, grab a SOCOM bullets, then going to drop down here. Remember the portion trick. Press X, pause, and then start spamming triangle and then unpause it. That's it. Then wait for God to look over there. Do not attack him yet. You need to wait for him to finish calling in help. Then wait for him to call back. Open up this cover and defuse this bomb, guys, with your coolant spray. That's it. Lob it in the freezer. Right. Once you've done that, quickly go chase after that lower guard and hold him up, guys, and get his dog tag. There's a guard in the middle. Uh, but I like, I actually get him later because we're going to be back in this room later. And we're actually going to be passing that that guard at the top. So we're going to get that dog tag later. Don't worry. Yeah, so hold up this guard. We're going to do a lower guard now. And then, we'll, like I say, we'll do the upper guard later. Just more effective. You can get them both at once here. But it's a little bit tricky. So I just do one now and one later. It makes it much easier. So yeah, come out here. Right, you're going to come to far lower southeast end. Now, that guard at the top, wait for him to come down the steps. Just be careful because he can see you um, if you're sort of at the side. So make sure you're way out of the way of his line of sight. Right, and when he walks over there, run up to him and hold him up. There you go. Knock him back a bit. Yep, yeah, make him shake out the dog tag and then we're going to knock him out, guys, for the melee combo. Right, and come up these steps. The guy on the top, on the very top, shouldn't be able to see you. And then come near, guys, and out this exit. Right, strut E, parcel room. First floor. Okay, just going to grab this cardboard box. That's cardboard box 5. Right, going to hold up this guard. Yep. Get his dog tag. Then melee combo him afterwards. His name is Nana. Right, then take the east stairwell and the upper east door out onto the heliport. Yeah, there'll be a little cutscene here. Yeah, I think the way we're going to do this, guys, we're going to do very easy playthrough. And then I'm going to do all these sort of extra mode trophies. And then we're going to do easy playthrough and then big boss. I think that's the order of release you can look forward to in my release schedule for my platinum. So this guy, you're going to just go north and then west and then south. Come up behind him and hold him up. He is stubborn. So you're going to act all tough. So you're going to shoot your weapon next to him. And it'll just poo his pants. And then grab his dog tag. And shoot him with a tranquilizer. Make sure you shoot him with the M9. And then come over here to the bottom of the fighter jet. Crawl. Go into a prone. And then freeze the bomb below the plane. I think that's bomb. Is that bomb number two? Yep. Yeah. And then come over here guys. A big cardboard box. There it is. Cardboard box number three. Pick that one up. Right, and there's going to be a guard on the lower northwest corner. You do move a little bit quicker, by the way, if you do cartwheels. Freeze. Right, hold him up. Yeah, you can knock this guy out. Yeah, so you can knock him out like so. That's it, get his dog tag and grab them claymore mines. Hopefully a bit better picking things up than what I am. Yep, yeah, then cartwheel over him. And then take the east exit, guys, where we came in. So, yeah, the reason we tranked that top guy is because if not, he would have woken up before he got here. Right, so back in the parcel room. Yep, come back down the steps, and then we're going to take the southeast exit. Onto the EF connecting bridge. Right, you're going to come in here. And once you get to about here, you're going to get a story related codec call, which is unmissable. Right, once you get to here, you're going to turn around and you're going to look up and you're going to tranquilize that guy. Because he might see, if you look a little bit slow here, he might see you. Yep, there he is, you see him. Take him out of the headshot of the M9, that's it. And then once you get to this part where four silos are, start crawling, guys. Now crawl through the middle until you've picked up three claymores. So yeah, three claymores, that's two, one more. There it is, three. Once you picked up three, that's it. Now the middle path is clear of claymores. Now remember that. 
So whenever you're going back through that room, the middle path is clear of claymores. Right, once you're in Short F Warehouse, come over here, uh, jump over this railing, drop down, drop down these crates, and then freeze this bomb with your coolant spray. Oh yeah, to use your coolant spray, guys, press forward on the analog stick. The right analog. Another thing I've got to mention, I best write this down. Yeah, you, hold, you press forward on the right analog stick. It's a bit, I don't know why it's got a weird function to use. I don't know why I've done that. Yeah, you just equip it and then you hold forward on the right analog stick. And once you're done it, climb back over, hold up this guy. Now you need to be quick here before his friend comes down and notices him knocked out. Yeah, grab them stun grenades to the north. Come in here, grab the mine detector. I don't use them, but I thought you might want them. Yeah, then come in this room, grab box two. You need that, and then quickly take the southwest exit, guys. Yeah, let me just make a note of that. I need to remember remember to um, add text onto the screen. So, coolant spray tutorial. Yeah, now in here, you want to shoot down this... Um, yeah, don't shoot the enemy. You want to shoot down that cipher or drone. To shoot it down, either shoot it in its head or the ring at the bottom. That's it. And then once you've done that, wait for the guy to come back down. Yeah, if he's walking up, just wait for him to come back down. You can try to get behind him in time. You likely won't make it. Yes, yeah, so wait for him to come back down, and then you're going to hold him up. Um, so, coolant spray, that's in the D, that's in the sediment pool, weren't it? Freeze. And um, what else do I need to make a note of? Oh, yeah, um, the loud grating um, just after... Loud grating at start as Raiden, pretty much. Yeah, so I need to remember to put text on screen or rewind the video and just add in some commentary. The problem is, because I'm always talking, it means I've got to delete some of what I said. Yeah, so two things I need to add some text on that I've got to mention. Right, so you're going to come in here next quickly uh, so that guy don't see you. Right, you're going to come over here, guys, and you're going to crawl beneath these pipes. Yeah, loud grating, start off raiding, and corn spray, sediment pool. Yeah, then when you, when you get to red pipe, guys, crawl beneath it to the south, you'll find a ration. Right, and you're going to use your corn spray on that bomb. That's it. Once you've done that bomb, I think that's bomb number... Is that number three? I can't even remember now, but um, you've done all the bombs that I've done up to this point. I think it's bomb. I think that's bomb number four. Yeah, right. Once you've done that, come around here, guys, to the southwest. You see, there's a box there. We want to get. I think after this, we need. I think it's two more boxes after this one. Right. You need to actually press triangle to jump over that unit. Yep, that's box one. No, I think that's that's um that's box number four, ain't it? I think. Well, I know I know that's box one, but I mean I think we've got four boxes. Right, and now what we're going to do, guys, is going to take the northwest exit, but try to be careful. The guy does see you. Right, once back out here on the A B connecting bridge, there's going to be to the north. Gonna tough path. Yep, out of this door. And into Shrub B Transformer Room. Yes, two enemies here now. Now there's loud flooring, so be very careful when you're going around it. Yep, so you see me walking there. Just be careful and then hold him up. Don't kill me. As once you hold him up, you can be loud. That's it. Shake out his dog tag and then tranquilize this guy. Yeah, make sure you tranquilize him, guys. Right, you come down here and you want to hold up this guy. Grab a sock and bullets near the steps on your way down. Freeze. Yep, hold him up. I think this guy's stubborn. Yep, so I'm going to have to shoot the wall next to him. Now, once he drops his dog tag, you can knock him out with a melee combo. Yeah, like so. And there's a bomb here, guys. So you want to move out of the way. And there it is. Defuse that bomb. Yeah, so move that door. Close the door on that, um, I guess, mainframe. Or whatever it is. The cupboard. Yeah, close the door. The bomb will be behind it. And then freeze it with your coolant spray.
Right, get through that code, it cool. Yep, now here you want to shoot down that cipher. Yep, just shoot down that one cipher, guys. Go back shaft grenade and then quickly continue north. Yeah, screw your camera, we've already destroyed it. Is it in that room? I can't remember now, maybe it's a previous room. Right, in here, guys, in the dining hall, the um, bomb is in the girls' toilets. Yeah, just up there, you can actually see it in the mirror. That should be all the bombs at the moment. So once you've got that final bomb, you can actually grab, grab the sensor for the big daddy. Yeah, so you come back into room where you spoke to Stillman, and now this door will be open at the back here. Yeah, grab that. Sensor B. Right, now we need to head all the way back to where we started as Raiden. Yeah, so you see the time now. Like I say, depending on difficulty, that timer will be lower and lower. On Big Boss rank, you've only got 10 seconds to get there. Yeah, so all the way back now. Yeah, so reason we shot that Cypher, because if not, he would have been looking for you now. So it saved us having to um, dispose of him on the way back. Right, back in Transformer room. This enemy should still be asleep because you tranked him. If the other enemy is just getting up, don't worry. He'll not... A caution doesn't actually count as an alert, by the way. Yes, yeah, so you get a caution. That doesn't count as an alert. Only an alert <laughs> counts as an alert. I know that does sound pretty obvious, but yeah. Good to know, though. Yeah, so you want to take the north path here to avoid the guard on the bottom. He's walking along the south now. Let's take north path and then into short A pump room. Once in here, carefully avoid the enemy in the middle. And then head up the north, uh, sorry, head up the steps on the west. Come to the roof. And there will be a guard out here now. We're going to hold him up. Yeah, and now the elevator's back there. So I think you have to get sensor B to make the elevator appear. Yep, hold him up, guys. I meant to press start there. Yeah, so press start, let go of square. That's it, knock him out of a melee combo. And they go on the elevator. So it's going to be a boss fight in a second as well. This boss fight's a bit weird. You don't, actually, you don't actually have to damage a boss. It's more like a... It's more like a time thing. You just have to survive the boss for long enough and then you automatically win the fight. Uh, but did not equip any cardboard boxes here. I did this once and... Um, what happened if you if you got a cardboard box equipped and you go and fight it, it burns it and destroys it. Now I'm not sure because the trophy can glitch, maybe I thought perhaps I didn't get a trophy one time because my boxes had been destroyed. But maybe it's because the trophy glitched, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, but just be safe. You're not gonna be equipping any cardboard boxes during that fight. Right, and you're gonna to come to back of submarine guys, a suspended submarine in the hair. And you're going to crouch and defuse that final bomb. Well, not final. There's a few more yet. But yeah, defuse it. The timer will start. Will stop. And then head all the way back. Ready for a boss fight with Fortune. The first boss fight as Raiden. We will start coming across a lot of boss fights now with him. Most of his boss fights all come sort of in the sort of the second half. Yep, so fortunately, like I say, all you got to do is survive her attacks long enough. Um, obviously, do not stand in the fire. Try not to be too close to a barrel when it explodes. As you can see, most of the obstacles will give you cover. But sometimes her lightning will go through it. It's a uh, sort of ray gun, a rail gun. Yeah, see, sometimes it goes through it. So be careful. But normally... When there is no cover left and you're going from left to right, um, you want to do a cartwheel whenever you hear her whistling. So when you hear the whistling, that means obviously indicates her gun's about to fire. I mean, sometimes you just do a barrage. But yeah, when you hear it charging up like a whistle, uh, dodge. Yeah, you don't have to survive for too long. Um, maybe the time goes up on each difficulty. But yeah, it's not too long. Yeah, but once all your cover is gone, guys, you have to start dodging. Uh, running from left to right. Yeah, careful. 
you do not stand still for too long. Yeah, so just keep going from left to right. Yep, and just keep dodging uh, whenever you hear about to do an attack. You did get all your health back after each boss fight, by the way. I don't know why I didn't say that earlier. But yeah, we get our trophy, guys, Lady Fortune. That's not a big thing you need to know anyway until big boss rank, because you can heal up on a very easy. But yeah, after each boss fight, your health will heal back to full. Right, so once you, um, I guess, defeated her, you want to come in this gate now, but you want to crawl because there's two Claymore there. And you're gonna grab grab a two claymore from crawling and also shaft grenades. And then come this door. Come into the pump room. There's a guard in here, you want to hold him up. What are you? Yeah, but a few new guards now around the um around the struts. Yeah, so hold him up. He's a tough guy. So yeah, shoot near his ear. Blow out his eardrums. And then knock him out after he gets dog tag. Yeah, knock him out with a melee combo. Just be careful, this guy is not looking to the right when you go past him. We do want to take the northeast exit. I'm trying. I think I was looking at my text guide there. But I'm going to blame it on that. Right, so here. Yep, that guard will then walk up and then he'll start walking down. Uh, but we've already got his dog tag. So once he start, starts walking down, you can just go past him. That's it, and into the fire door. Right, so once you're here, guys, wait for him to start walking back. And then go behind him and hold him up. Yep, and then knock him out of a melee combo. After getting his dog tag. Yeah, now heading back to heliport. So remember, the middle path is clear now because we deactivated all the claymore, so you can just run straight across the middle. As long as you're quick enough, that guy on the top will not see you. As you can see, he's back looking around. Right, once back in the parcel room, go back up the steps, the eastern steps in the middle, and take the top exit. Going to be a boss fight now, guys. We're going to be fighting Fat Man. Now, with Fat Man, you can you can knock him to him. Obviously, you want to knock him out with the M9, the tranquilizer. But it's quite tricky because he's got all you can do is hit him in his little bold spot on his head. But that's there's a little tiny bit of it that's visible. Uh, but to knock him down, you can use claymores, you can use stun grenades, or you have to shoot him very uh, six times very fast with a Sockum to knock him down. That's what we're going to be going for. Yeah, once you defuse this bomb, that'll start a boss fight. So yeah, shoot him six times with the Sockum, that will knock him down. And he tried to get headshots with the M9. So first thing you want to do when the boss fight stops, starts, uh, come over to this bomb, guys, on the southwest, near where you start, and defuse it. Right, it's one bomb left, but we're going to try and get rid of him before we do that one. So yeah, wherever, wherever he is, guys, run over to him. Like I say, hit him six times quickly, the sock on, to knock him down, and then try to get a few headshots when he's on the floor. The quicker you can shoot him when he's on the floor, the more shots you get in. Because when he's just falling down, or when he's just falling down, you can normally get a shot in, and it doesn't wake, wake him up. But sometimes, um, if you leave it too long, when you shoot him once, it'll make him stand up. If you want to try to shoot him as, as soon as you can, really, it'll allow you to get more shots in. Yeah, you want to see M9. I mean, the Socom is damaging him, but it shouldn't kill him. The idea is to kill him with the M9. Because on big boss rank, you can't kill any enemies, including bosses. And that's it, guys. Got rid of him. And then defuse his final bomb. If you can't quite get rid of him quick enough, make sure you defuse his bomb before the timer runs out. I leave it to last second, because once you defuse all the bombs, he'll start to put more down. 
Um, so it just works well that way. But like I say, if you too, if you take too long, go and defuse the bomb before it explodes. And then once you killed him, move him out of the way. And then drop him and you'll get his dog tag, guys. Peter Stillman. That's him. And then defuse this bomb. Yeah, so pick him up, move him out of the way, drop him, grab his dog tag. Do not forget to do that. And then defuse his bomb. Right, there was some ammo there on the top right if you needed it. Yeah, all the ammo here, if you do run out of ammo, it should respawn uh, once you go sort of out, out of the way of where it is. Yeah, once it's kind of off screen. Yep, and then once you head back south, you'll get a cutscene with the ninja type guy. I suggest... Why did they have to bring... Yep, you get quite a lot from this. You'll get the BDU, you get the BDU uniform. Um, I just stand, I forget what it stands for. Some, the uniform stands for uniform, of course. Um, disguise, body, I don't know. It does stand for something. Uh, but yeah, you'll get a key card from him. You'll get the BDU. And you'll also get the phone, which you never really need to use. Yeah, so I'm going to come back in here, guys. And I'm going to make a safe. Right, um, so we've done Fat Man, guys. Diffused all the bombs. Yeah, so I'm making that safe. Yeah, so we've just got to finish the outfit now. So all we need now is a AK-74. A weapon. So we look like the enemies in the... Um, in the... I think it's the core. Yeah, so... It's basically... You basically have to equip the same outfit and the same weapon as the enemies. Um, to look exactly like them. And you can basically just run around them then. So here, very quickly... Run along the middle. Um, if you remember, there's a guy on the top here. Uh, but if you just run straight down the middle, he shouldn't get a chance to see you. Just like that, guys. Yep, yeah, and out of the south exit. So once it's short F warehouse, go down the steps on the right. All we want to do is get the weapon and then get back out. So straight in here, the weapon is in the top left corner. Uh, sorry, top right. AKS-74U. Yeah, the northwest, the northeast corner. In our, sorry, keep getting that wrong. Yeah, go into that room down below, and it's in the top right corner. Just grab the AK-74. Then quickly come back up the steps. Now, as long as you're quick here, this should work out. Yeah, run to the middle, and then crawl. Once you get one claymore, get up and start running to the left. You can use cartwheels to move quicker. There's trapdoors here, and a, a drone will also appear. You see it coming in? But if you're quick enough, you should get through there before... It gets a chance to see you guys. Right, make sure you got the BDU equipped and the AK-74. Like this, that's it. So you look like the enemies. Freeze. Huh? Yep, and then once the enemy walks past, change to your M9 or something else. Hold him up. Yep, and then you want to move him over here. And you can get his dog tag from here. Or you can get his dog tag in the corridor and then drag him here. Yep. Hold him up, get his dog tag, that's it. And you want to break his neck. Yep, and then go back to AK-74. So this guard does not recognise you. And then once you turn his back, hold this guard up as well. Yeah, you'll find out why we're breaking their necks in a minute. Yeah, because normally you would trunk these guards, but we're just going to break the neck instead. That's it, get his dog tag and then break his neck. Yeah, once you've done so, yeah, like I say, normally I trank them, um, but instead of doing it, I'm just going to break the necks here, just to work towards a trophy for breaking 30 necks. Yeah, shoot that camera with your sock on. That's camera number four or five. Right, and now we want to, yeah, I didn't, I thought I missed it. Luckily, I realised, yeah, make sure you do hit the camera, otherwise it might spot you. But you need to shoot it anyway. Yeah, so make sure you back to your AK-74 to equip your full disguise. Come behind this guy and hold him up as well, guys. Yep. And this guy can knock him out for melee combo. And hopefully you'll get that trophy, guys, for rent money. So if you don't have that trophy yet, that's for knocking out 30 enemies with a melee combo. If you don't have that trophy yet, just knock out a few more enemies, which I break the next on. I'll, I'll tell you when. 
because um, some of them I'm, I'm breaking the neck, you might need to use tranquilizer on them. Uh, but yeah, when you use this elevator, guys, make sure you got your full disguise equipped. Because when you use that button, the camera will see you. Yeah, so make sure you got, make sure you got your full disguise equipped, guys. And then you want to go down to B2. Now this guy, he is stubborn. So you either need to trank him or break his neck. Yeah, but you want to break his neck to work towards your trophy. So yeah. Shoot your Sockum near this guy, your silenced Sockum. And then break his neck. Yeah, grab his dog tag. Back to your full disguise, otherwise his enemies might see you. Now do not do any cartwheels. Otherwise they're going to realise something's very, very wrong with you. Yeah, then you want to come to this locker where nobody's looking in that direction. And melee it to make all the books come out. Now what you're going to do guys, when safe to do so, now be very careful doing this, the enemies turn around very quickly. Put a book down in an enemy's path when they've got their back turned. But make sure they're not going to turn back around as you're putting the book down. Make it so you've got enough time to put the book down and change back to your weapon, you know, before they turn back. Yeah, like so. That's it. You actually want to make a safe, you want to make a safe here as well, yeah. Before you get the box in this room, save your game. Very, very important. Yeah, because if it, if it glitches here, if you make a safe here, you should be able to fix it. Yeah, but do not hold anybody up until all the enemies are looking down at the box and their sort of field of view has disappeared. So yeah, do not hold anybody up until they are all distracted with page 3 in the magazine. And then one by one, hold them up and break their necks. But the third guy, if you want, if you still don't have the rent money trophy, you can knock him out afterwards. Yeah, third guy. But the other two break their necks. That's it. So once you've got all three dog tags, yeah, grab this cardboard box. Like I say, save your game here. So I actually got another trophy here, but I had to redo this bit. Yeah, so you, when an enemy looks at the magazine for the first time, you'll get this trophy called... Um, Catching a glimpse of something. Yeah, if you see it here, I just had to watch the video back. Yeah, sorry, to catch a predator. Yep, and so you'll get that trophy there, guys. And you'll also get a trophy for getting all the boxes. So it glitched for me, and all I did, I reloaded my save, and I just ran back in here. And because this one didn't really matter, I just killed all the enemies. Uh, just to quickly get to the box, and you'll see it, it worked now this time. Moving day. I think it might be if you grab the mic before the box. It, yeah, it might be connected to grabbing the mic before the box or just a bad glitch. Uh, but yeah, grab box four, guys. That should be the final one. And then grab the microphone. Now, listen to that audio that triggers after grabbing the box. Maybe it's that codec call which glitched it. I'm not quite sure. Um, but when I grabbed the mic before the box, it didn't pop the trophy. But when I grabbed the box before the mic, it did. So I'm not sure if that's just coincidence or not. But yeah, as long as you made the save, guys, before grabbing the box, and it, if it doesn't pop, you can reload it. But what you, what you want to do, if it doesn't pop for you, and you made the save, get through this room, get to the next floor, and then save your game. So when you have to reload it, you don't have to redo that bit all over again. Yeah, so you come here, save your game, and then do a soft reset, load up that one, quickly kill everybody, grab a box, and then reload this save back. Um, okay, but in this room, guys, come in here. Make sure you've got your full disguise equipped. Wait for this guy to walk past you. Hold him up. Freeze. That's it. And then make sure you shoot to the south. Do not shoot to the north. Otherwise you might alert the other enemies. That's it. Because he is stubborn. That's what I need to shoot for. And then after he shoots. You just want to break his neck. That's it. Now you need to hold up both his guards. Before you do anything. So hold him up. And then hold up this guy. That's it. Do not try to kill one. When the other is not alerted, uh, sorry, not held up. Otherwise, he will hear you and he will become alerted. Yep. Yeah. And then once you're both held up, come into this guy first. He's stubborn. That's it. So just scare him with a bullet. And then once he drops a dog tag, you want to break his neck. Right. And this guy, do not kill him, by the way. You'll find out why in a second. So you want to hold him up. Carefully. That's it, hold him up, and then you want to grab him. Now you need to drag him all the way back to a door. The southeast door. 
So yeah, just make sure you got this dog tag first. So yeah, all the way back here. And if you don't get him to the door quick enough, and he knocks out, he becomes unconscious, you just have to keep picking him up until he wakes up. And then make sure you're behind him, hold him up again. And then once you hold up, drag him all the way to that scanner. But yeah, you need to drag him there when he's conscious. Right, and this next story trophy can glitch as well, guys. But I point out the cutscene um, you need to watch in order for it to work. I think skipping the cutscene can glitch a trophy if you're unlucky. Yeah, so you might want to make a save here just in case this trophy glitches for you. Yeah, I've had the box trophy glitch for me and this next story trophy, which will be popping in the next few minutes. Right, so if this is your very first playthrough, Amy's is always here. Yeah, on any of the playthrough, his location is a little bit random, but your very first, he's always in this south west corner beside the table. So you need to point the directional mic at him and then press triangle. Yeah, point it at him and press triangle. Right, and during this cutscene, do not skip it. You need to point your directional mic over here. So you, need, you see this flag stand on the left. Yep, and there's a sort of toilet, there's a door behind that um, metal pillar. You'll hear Johnny talking. Now let's dialogue fully play out. Yeah, you can hear him talking. There's a trophy for listening to him in two spots. This is one of the two locations. Yep, and once he finish his dialogue, he'll say there's no paper. So that's his last, that's his last line. But it's, it's quite... He, he kind of whispers that line though. So just keep listening until he says there's no paper. And then you know you've done it. There you go, hear it? There's no paper. It's just a little bit quietly, but yeah, that's his last line. And then just press options or, or watch the rest of the cutscene. But yeah, once you've heard there's no paper, you can skip the cutscene after that. Now, after the, code, after the next code call with Amy's, do not skip this cutscene. Do not skip this cutscene. This is one which triggers a trophy at the end. And I found if you skip it, it can mess a trophy up. So do not skip this cutscene, guys, this one. You'll see once you finish this, that will trigger the trophy. And yeah, for some reason, when you skip it, it glitches it. He's coming here. Pick up your AK. And there you go. Yeah, thanks, Amy. So yeah, that one will glitch, guys, if you skip that cutscene. Probably, you know, if they don't, unless it's patched or it's just unlucky. Yeah, and then once you get control, you want to quickly equip your AK, guys. That's it. That's it. Back in disguise, you'll head outside here. Uh, but you've let your hair down now. Right, and you're going to wait for this guy to the north. Just wait for him to go back. And you're going to break his neck. Or if you want, if you still need a trophy for knocking out 30 enemies, you can just melee him to death. Uh, we'll be going straight in the elevator anyway. So he's not going to wake up in time before you escape. That's it. Just careful because he literally, he doesn't move. He just turns around. He doesn't walk forward. So just be careful, you do not go too far around the corner because you might bump into him. That's it, open the elevator guys and now go up to floor one. Yeah, I had to mess, I had to mess about quite a bit of edits um, in them parts. Because like I say, because of the moving day trophy and the thank, thanks Amy's, that trophy as well. Because I actually, I actually popped them too after completing the game. Yeah, then come out here guys, that guy, that guy should be walking to the south. Now, be very quick here, and you should avoid any incoming ciphers. And that guard on the top of the heliport, if he's still there. Yes, go right to the, straight to the middle of the four tankers, and then come into the southeast door. Right, you're going to come down here, and you're going to go, you're going to go left and into this northwest room. 
Grab the RGB6, grab the ammo for it. Yeah, if you didn't know, by the way, if you equip like a rocket type weapon and aim it at an enemy, you don't have to go in the first person, just aim it at them and they automatically start dropping the dog tag. Yeah, go into that northeast room, grab a C4 and the Claymore. There's a trophy of getting every weapon with Raiden. He has a lot more weapons than Snake. Yeah, that's a C4 and the RGB6. And once this guy walks back, you want to break his neck. Yep, like so. Because otherwise, when we try to leave this room, you'll li likely run into him when he comes back up. Yeah, they come into this room, guys, and grab the PSG1. And then also crouch beneath this vent. And get the tranquilizer attachment for it. Yeah, it's not even an attachment. I think that's another weapon. Yeah, so grab the PSG1 and also the PSG1 tranquilizer and also grab the ammo. And then come into the southwest room. Now be careful, there's a laser here. So before you run in, shoot that control unit on top of the locker. That's it, and then grab the M4. Right, then come to the far south part of the room, the area. Enter room on the left, guys, and grab the grenades. Yep, some sock and bullets in there as well. Right, that's all we need. Right, and then back out the entrance you came in. Yeah, I think you need a level 4 keycard to get all them. That's why we um, we uh, went to get all that now. Yeah, right, go straight into the far north door. Yeah, you can see the guard is still there at the top of the heliport. Yeah, so back into the parcel room. And then into the northwest exit. Yeah, DE connecting bridge. Right, there's a guy at the top looking out. So we're going to take the bottom path here. Now, just be careful. You want to... These two new enemies... Well, one of these enemies is new, by the way. You're going to hold up this guy. That's it. I think he's a stubborn guard. So you're going to make him shake out his dog tag. And you're going to drag him down the back, out the way of that guard to the west. So you drag him down here and then break his neck. That's it. So the guy to the west don't see him. So you're holding him up. Yeah, I should have got a dog tag before it disappears. Yep. And then this guy, you've already got his dog tag, I think. So he's going to break his neck. Yeah, it's going to break his neck. That's it. And then go up the steps, guys, and take the upper northwest door. That's it. And the guy at the top of the heliport shouldn't see you. Yeah, so back in the sediment pool. So now we're going to get a dog tag from that guy in the middle. Yes, yeah, so come down here, do you turn, go left. And once he turns around, yep. Yeah, hold him up, guys. Get his dog tag and then break his neck. Or if you still need the rent money trophy, you can knock him out with a melee combo. It's up to you. Right, and then I'm going to take this upper western exit. We are ready to go through the northern door, actually, and do the Harrier fight. But, because there's a few new guides around, just going to get his new dog tags. Right, out here. Yeah, you're going to hold up this guy in the middle. Don't kill me. Yep, get his dog tag. And then we're going to hold him. We're going to drag him over here, guys. Otherwise, his mate will see him. Yeah, so drag him over here. Yep, and then break his neck. Like I say, if you don't do that, his mate will see him. That's it. Once you killed him and broke his neck, you got his dog tag. Head on to the west, and then you want to hold up this guy next. Just careful there. There's a trap door. You see that trap door on the floor? Normally, I've held him up before he's got to this point. So, yeah, just be very careful. Yeah, I didn't mean to shoot him, but it don't matter. Yeah, I mean, you want to break his neck, uh, but, I mean... Either way, he kills him, but yeah, the trophy's for breaking breaking 30 necks, so it doesn't matter. I just mean I've got to kill one more. Yep, well, he's got that dog tag coming here to dining hall, guys. And hold up this person, Vanessa. I know it sounds like a man, but apparently that's Vanessa. Yeah, so hold up Vanessa, get a dog tag. Yeah, just careful. I mean, that's what happens if you drop your weapon when the guard is looking at you. That's it. Yeah. Get a dog tag, guys. 
Now you want to get that enemy next. Now because I took too long, normally I can get down there and get behind him. But because I was a little bit slow, he's kind of on his way back up here. So just let him walk past if you're too slow like me. And once you walk past you guys, hold him up. Get their dog tag. Yeah, they're stubborn. Stubborn guards. And um, break the neck afterwards. Or unless you need the rent money trophy still. I have no idea why his name's called Anthony Will Reign Supreme. I know the names after some of the people that worked on the game and stuff, or they picked a name. Right, in here, we're going to take out that cipher quickly, and then hide around this corner. Yeah, so quickly take out the cipher, hide, and wait for the guy to turn around, and then go and hold him up. <clears throat> Got a bit of a sore throat, guys, by the way, so apologies if my voice is a little bit weird today. I've had a sore throat for about a week now, I thought it'd be gone by now, but I guess not. Just a cold weather in um, in Britain. Yeah, it's been pretty cold just lately. Yep, so you knock him out. Uh, sorry, grab his dog tag and then break his neck. Grab the shuffling nades, you don't really need to. And then what we're going to do now is head all the way back, guys, to the sediment pool. Yes, yeah, so you retrace your steps to the sediment pool and then take the north and exit. You always find when, you know, when winter comes, because it's quite a shock with a change in temperature... I always kind of get ill at the start, and then I don't get ill anymore, you know, for the rest of the winter. Yeah, just as my body gets used to the change in temperature. Yeah, so um, after this, I should be okay, I hope, for the rest of it. Yeah, so um, once back in the sediment pool, head to the north exit. Right, and this way you're going to have the Harrier fight soon. But all these bombs we're about to shoot, depending on what difficulty you're on, there'll be more. I think on I think on Big Boss rank it's like 12 or something. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, you can grab this pen. Tasm into the left. I don't really use it. Right, so you're going to equip the PSG one. Now make sure you shoot the control units. You've got that one there. You've got one here. Another one there. You've got one up here. Uh, you've got one near that door, straight opposite. So that's five so far and then this make sure you shoot the control unit on the top you can see the control unit on its head make sure you shoot that yeah do not shoot the siphon kill it because that will detonate the bombs yeah make sure you shoot the site the control unit on its head that's it once you defuse them all be a little cutscene head forward and the harrier fight will begin guys so this is very 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 easy on very easy yeah grab a stinger Grab a thing of bullets or missile, yeah. We're gonna fire bullets. Rocket propelled bullets at the um, Harrier. So yeah, just keep shooting it guys. He drops your ration, so no need to think, wow, what's he dropped for me? He just drops a ration despite the cutscene making it look like it's something really good. Yeah, so when he goes flying into the distance and the lock on disappears, if you can see him and you're quick enough, shoot as soon as the lock on reappears again. And you can normally destroy the rocket, which he shoots at you. And he just keeps spamming the button then. You can hit him as well as he comes closer. But you have to be quick. Yep, and then it's just a means of guys keep it hitting him. But when he's about half HP, he will do a bar barrage of missiles. And at that point, you need to go and hide underneath. Yeah, try not to shoot Snake. I mean, big boss rank, you won't have the radar, it's going to be much trickier. And you're going to have to sort of use the Stinger target to see. If you remember Metal Gear 1, and that Harrier fight, or well, sorry, the Chopper fight, you had to use the Stinger to see where he was. Yeah, it's going to be a case of that on big boss rank. Yeah, like I say, when he's about half HP, he's going to do a barrage of missiles. Just get underneath here, that's it, to avoid them all. Then back at the top and machine shooting him. Yeah, so um, if you can see, if the red arrow is on the map, but you can't see him, like I say, it's because he's in the distance. And if you're not quick enough, that's what will happen. So when he goes to the distance, you need to pretty much shoot as soon as the lock-on reappears. If not, then rockets will get through and they will hit you. So if you're not quick enough, just get to the bottom and then resume shooting. Yes, yeah, so at that point, he, he flies up and he lobs loads of uh, missiles at you. 
Do you see him coming then? You can normally hit him a few times, uh, but then you'll have to get down below. That's it. Yep. We got him, guys. Harrier. You get a trophy for beating that guy. <clears throat> yep, it's going to save my game here. This is a n this would be a nasty place to die on big boss rank. I actually died here straight after this safe because uh, you got a, you got a tricky jump to make. Yeah, just here. Yeah, so you got to be quite you got to be quite careful there. Yeah, you, you do feel quite ashamed when you you mess up that first jump. Right, so you got to quickly go across some trapdoors here. Try to jump down where the two, the two different railings meet in the middle. That's a good spot. So where the two railings meet in the middle, that's where you want to jump over and drop down. You jump over that first hole there, and then this hole you have to, you have to uh, hang over and shimmy across. Don't try to dodge it over there. I tried. I've even tried uh, jumping onto that bird below and sort of um, doing a bird jump. Don't work. Yeah, you have to shimmy across that gap. Right, there will be a guy looking out this windows. Uh, but it's normally at a far window by the time you get to him. That's it. Obviously, you do not want to be crawling over a trap door. So, just be very careful. Yep, and then here, you need to hug against a wall. And then shimmy across while crouched. Just like at the end of Metal Gear Solid 1. Where you're in the blast furnace and you have to crouch beneath that um, moving hook thing. Which can knock you off. Right here. If you really want to, you can look up and hold your mouth open and close your eyes. Yeah, but be quick, otherwise you're going to smell. And the guards will smell you, trust me. They should have done that, actually. If you get if you get some out of your eye on you, yeah, the guards can smell you. Yeah. Right, so um, once over here, you want to lob a shaft grenade. Probably a bit earlier than what I do. Yeah, as soon as you get close to some steps, you want to lob a shaft. That's it, because there's a bunch of ciphers here. That's it, and that will disable them so you can get through here, guys, without being spotted. Yeah, they probably should have made it so some of the um, NPCs it mentioned about you stinking of, you know, stinking of piss. Right, so um, you can skip these cutscenes. No need to watch any of them, unless, of course, you want to. Like I said, I played this game a long, long, long time ago. Right, we're going to come down these steps and head to the west. And we're going to be heading through the north and elevator. Yep, yeah, the shaft grenades here, but you don't need to get them, guys. We've got far too many already. We've got way more than what we're going to use. Yeah, you can leave all them. Don't worry. Yeah, some M4 bullets there. I never use them either. Maybe I can label them as optional in my um, text guides. Problem is, we might need some of these things on big boss rank yet. Well, definitely not the M4 anyway, because that'll count as a lethal kill. Yeah, right, so once you get down to B1, we're going to go right, and we want to go into the water, guys. And we're going to grab the Nikita. Swimming underwater, it's a little bit awkward. Just takes some getting used to. It's not too bad once you get used to it. Yeah. The Nikita, on very easy, it'll be here. So, it, just beneath the first air pocket. Grab the Nikita, and then drive back, uh, drive, swim back. That's it, quickly run up the steps. Yep, spam the button on the elevator. Head inside, and head back up to um, floor one. Going to get a trophy in a minute, guys, for um, disabling five cameras. There's not many cameras on um, very easy. I think it's like probably total six or seven. Yeah, not many at all. You can, But you can just get the trophy on very easy. Right, there's going to be two gun cameras in here and these do count. Just open this door and shoot them both. There you go. You should get a trophy when you kill one of them. Bye bye, a big brother. That's it. Destroy five cameras. So we've got that one. Then come in here, guys. Jump on the box and grab the Nikita. Don't really need them, but why not? Yep, and then jump on this crate, grab the sock and bullets, and you're going to shoot a Nikita. Yeah, some Nikita bullets over there, you don't really need them. Yeah, shoot one through this hole, jump on the crate and shoot it, otherwise it won't reach. Now carefully, go forward and then left and then right. Now watch out for the precedent. Do not want to shoot him. 
That's it. And then shoot the control panel at the back, just like in Metal Gear Solid 1. That's it. I want you to destroy the electric floor. Come in this room. Do you read me? Yep, you'll meet the president. And you'll get a new key card now. I think we'll get level 4. Oh yeah, this way you get level 4, I think. Oh, we had level 3 before, didn't we? Is a me this is card. There we go, card four. Get our trophy, guys. Bohemian candidate. Right, once you've done so. Yeah, we're going to go back down to B1 next. I took these photos too. Yeah, a few cutscenes to get through. How did you manage? The legendary Solid Snake. My hero. It's that one where Raiden finds out who he is. Yeah, so still no enemies. But there will be when we next come back up here. There'll be one... I think there's three enemies when we come back up. Right, so cartwheel your way to the elevator. And back into the water. Yeah, so here guys, if your health is lower, yeah, if you do not have full health, your oxygen will deplete much quicker, I believe. You actually see it on the way back here later. You see it's depleting much quicker for me. Yeah, so you want to take this path. You see me going. So you take the first right and then the second left, followed by the first left, followed by the first right, and then left and then right again. It'll bring you down here into the far southeast corner. Press triangle to unlock this door. Just spam triangle to unlock it. And then you need to sort of swim up and swim through the gaps. No, it's not one there. <laughs> yeah. So swim through these gaps in all this um, wreckage. Yeah, you got a string of bullets times 10 there. You don't need to get them. Yep, and then unlock this door, guys. No pressure, literally. I mean, it's not as if your oxygen is depleting as you're opening the door. Yeah, then take a right and you'll come out here, guys, to door which you need key card level 4 to unlock. I'm going to get body armor in a second. This body armor is very, very useful. Oh, yeah, got his fight first with Vamp. So, yeah, very easy way to do this. And I hope this works on Big Boss Rank. Right, so you come over here, guys, to the far northeast corner. Right, and you're just going to go into prone here. And equip your M9. Yeah, I've got the wrong weapon there. Yeah, so equip your M9, guys, and just keep tranking him when he comes close to you. Yep, get a headshot. You'll do a little bit more damage. That's it. Just trank him. Yep, I don't know why, but when you go prone in the far northeast corner, he just... He doesn't do any attacks. He just start. He tries to slowly walk towards you. And it just walks straight into your line of fire. Like I say, hopefully this works on big boss rank. We will see. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit longer. But it's such an easy way to do it and safe. I mean, I saw some guides on this where they mess about with climbing in the water. And they're getting out and punching him and stuff. But yeah, this works really well. I do not take credit for this. It actually mentions this in the official guide. It's got like a, it's got like a strategy for him to, for beating him, and then it says like in very small, um, or if you want to make a fight really easy, just lay down in north in the northeast corner, and he won't attack you or something. I'm like, what? Yeah, but that's where I got this strategy from. So yeah, it's like they, they intended this to be... They did this on purpose, I don't know why. Maybe this is a really messy fight if you fight him normally. So maybe they put in this little trick on purpose. Yeah. 
But yeah, that's it. Oh no, he's got 1% stamina left. Uh, I have no idea why he has to fight a vampire in a water fight. It's weird. You don't really imagine to be fighting a vampire, do you, in a water fight? And there we go, got him. Yep, yeah, Vampire Slayer. Colonel. Defeat Vamp. Yeah, luckily, I mean, vampires are much stronger than us, but luckily, they can't breathe underwater any longer. Yeah, so once you come in here, make sure you stay low to avoid the mines. You'll see me get hit by one in a minute. This way, I took a bit less health. Yeah, so body armor at the back here, guys. Yeah, grab that body armor. There it is. You can see my oxygen is depleting much quicker now. Yeah, so just for... I don't know why. If you don't have full health, your just stamina depletes much quicker. I don't know why they've made that a thing. Yeah, so grab the body armor. Like I said, we'll need it for later. And then once in here, intro out of the middle locker. And that's it. A few cutscenes. And you'll bump into Emma. Now we're going to be babysitting, guys. And escorting her through the... Well, pretty much... The final parts of the game. Yep, time for daddy daycare. So make sure you've got your nappies ready. And your powdered milk. Put your ear against my chest and listen to Okay, alright. Put your ear against my chest. I think perhaps Raiden's been looking at too many of them girly magazines, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, once you send you back in the water. Come down here, turn right, and you, yeah, just retracing your, I'll say your steps, uh, retracing your path back to where you were now. So yeah, if you got pissed on earlier by the guard, you can just smell the urine and it will lead you back. Yeah, it should have made it so if you got pissed on, Emma made a comment on it or something. Ew, Raiden, you stink. You stink of Johnny. Yeah, a few more cutscenes once getting near where Vamp was. Riding. Or maybe the smell of urine disorientates um, Vamp uh, because of his heightened sense of smell. I don't know, surprised why they didn't play into that urine a bit more because they, they normally do, don't they? Little things in this, they really elabor elaborate on them, don't they? Where it can affect dialogue and stuff further on. Yeah, her stamina will deplete much, much quicker than Raiden's. So just be careful. Yeah, so with Emma, you might need to um, get your air back in a few air pockets. You can see where the air pockets are on the map. Um, or obviously the massive blue light. So easily see where they are. Yeah, so just find the small gaps in the wreckage. That's it. I'm going to get my breath back here. And Emma's. Right. And um, now I'm going to go. It doesn't matter. I mean, once a once your O2 gauge is depleted, it will start depleting your health. Um, but with Emma, her health will automatically be refilled at certain points. So don't worry too much if it does get too low. Like before the oil field sequence, her health is normally restored, so it doesn't matter if it's a bit low before that. Right, there you go. Yeah, once you're out, now it's going to be loads of bugs around the elevator, and she's allergic to them. So we're going to open the elevator door, and we're going to drag her in. You will have her in the neck lock, so do not be tempted to um, squeeze too hard. Yep, don't spam the button too quick guys. I know you might be tempted. Please, please resist. That's it. Once she's in there, go up to floor one. Yeah, there's going to be three guards up here now. We're going to get a dog tags. There's not many more dog tags to get actually. I think there's six more. Right, hold her aunt and escort her out, out slightly. And then you're going to come over here. You're going to hold up this guy. Yep, get his dog tag and then break his neck. 
or I guess, yeah, don't knock him out if you still need the knocking out trophy because he'll wake up before you get to the end. Yeah, this room, you because you're in this room for quite a long time. Yeah, so break his neck. Come to the south. There'll be an enemy roaming along the south between the steps. So just be careful. Yeah, you can see him there now on the map. Right, once he's moved away, let go of Emma and go and hold him up next. Yeah, so you see I've got the RGB6 here. If you see you don't have to go in first person, just aim at him from the front and they'll automatically drop the dog tag and then break his neck afterwards. I use the RGB6, you can use the Stinger or the Nikita, but if you use them, it means you have to go into first person. The RGB6, you just hold it out, aim it at them from the front and they'll automatically drop the dog tag without having to um, go into FPS. Right, and then drag up to the southeast, and we'll do a final guard here. This guy, you can knock him out if still near the trophy. If not, break his neck because now we are working towards the trophy for breaking 30 necks. Yeah, once he turns away, that's it. Get his dog tag, guys, and break a neck. Right, go and grab Emma again. We're not far from the end now, actually. Yeah, we've got two, three more dog tags. No, sorry, four more. Yeah, four more. Yeah, sorry. Well, that's one I almost forgot about. Right, you're going to come over here first. going to leave Emma. You're going to shoot down that cypher. Yep, just shoot one idiot. Yep, just shoot down... That cipher, then shoot this one, guys. Yeah, there's there's two ciphers there, but sometimes, well, not sometimes. You normally have to wait for the second one to appear. So I think it's on the I think it's at the bottom of the map, and you have to wait for it to rise up. So yeah, there'd be two ciphers. My idea with them was to shoot one, move for Emma a little bit, and then shoot the second one. But yeah, make sure you shoot both ciphers before you come out here. Otherwise, they will trigger a alert. Yeah, you're going to drag Emma all the way to the fork. And then we're going to hold up the guard to the north. Actually, I forgot about this guard as well. There's five <laughs> There's five guards left. I do get them all. Don't worry, I do get them all. It's just off the top of my head. I'm trying to remember everyone. But yeah, hold up this guard. Get his dog tag. I know there's one here. There's two in the next room. And there's one after the oil field, and there's one near the end as well. Yes, yeah, so once got a dog tag, uh, break his neck, move Emma over here, and you want to extinguish this fire with your coolant spray. Yep, that's it. And then take the south exit. Now it's going to be two enemies through here, but you need to be very careful because if you hold up the first enemy, the the southernmost enemy can actually see you holding him up, so you have to move him out of the way. Yes, this guy, you want to hold him up and then move him out of the way. Yeah, don't get dog tap first like I did. You see, I got very close here. Yeah, see how close, look on the map, see how close the other one's field division gets. So yeah, you want to hold him up, then drag him back. Then hold him up again, and then make him drop dog tag, and then break his neck. Right. Yeah, be very careful. Make sure he's walking away, because he turns around pretty quick. That's it. Get his dog tag. Yep, then break his neck. Right, then what you can do, you can open that hatch, and then go and get him. Uh, because otherwise you're going to have to let her go to open the hatch. It just saves you doing, you know, too many actions. Right, go and grab her by the hand and drag her. Drag her by the neck if you want, if you find that more appropriate. More, well, it's definitely more effective. It keeps her quiet. Yeah, so open the door and then drag her near this far exit and that trigger a cutscene. Yeah, you need to have her with you. 
Right, there we go, guys. So when you start this next sequence, it actually counts as one of the story alerts. Yeah, if you die here, it will say, when you die, basically it's like a, you get like a game over menu and um, alerts, there's like a different code name. I'll put it in the text guide of what each of the code names mean. But the alert one means how many alerts you've had. I think alert number, you've got N-U-E-T, which means neutralized enemies as well, like how many you've killed. Uh, but if you die here, yeah, thermal goggles are right near you begin, guys. And you've got some PSG-1 tranquilizer bullets as well. Yeah, and the thermal goggles. So if you haven't got thermal goggles yet, they'll be right beside you when you start this sequence. So yeah, you want to take out all the guards first. There'll be one guard on each of the first two silos. The guy on the third silo is Snake. Yep, and then you want to take out the Cyphus with the lethal one. Yeah, use the tranquilizer version on the guards and the lethal one on the Cyphus. Yeah, you can use thermals to see them better. Yeah, but you can see now Emma's health has been restored. Just before this section. Yeah, if you die here, it will say alert number one. And if you die again, it will say alert number two. And if you die again, it will say alert number three. Yeah, because if you continue, it does carry over any alerts or anything you've had. I mean, I mention all this again on Big Boss when it's important. But just some little things I'm mentioning. Yeah, when you kill these ciphers, they will slowly respawn. Yeah, I mean, one respawns from up there. Just above you. There it is. Yep, and then once she reaches the far side, though, the first one, two guards will spawn. I mean, there's three in total, uh, but if you knocked one out, uh, two more will spawn. And when they see her, that does not trigger an alert. Yeah, I know it sounds like it does, but it doesn't. I mean, it's not class an alert. When you start a sequence, that's automatically an alert as soon as you begin it. Like I say, if you keep dying and continuing, you'll see exactly what I mean. What I actually do, and I actually kill myself with grenades, and then continue, kill myself with grenades, continue, and my alert number kept going up. So yeah, this is one of the story alerts. So yeah, she'll eventually reach the first silo, and then she'll walk to the second one. And once she reaches the second silo, again, another few enemies will spawn. She'll be ready to tranquilize them. And when she walks behind the second silo, you need to point in the direction of my cutter because Johnny will appear again. And that's the second time you hear Johnny. Yeah, just keep a lookout for any um, ciphers that spawn. The same ciphers just spawn for you as they do for me. I think they, I think it's, I don't think it's like a random thing. They just keep spawning. I think a certain amount will spawn and they always seem to spawn from the same direction as well. Yeah, some people have said if you let Snake help you here, when he kills a guard, that, that'll count as kills against you. Um, that's something I'm going to test and learn for Big Boss rank. So don't worry about when it comes to things which are confusing, when it comes to what counts as kill, what counts as an alarm. When it comes to Big Boss rank, guys, when it matters, I will have tested all that and I will, like I said, I'll let you know for sure. Quite easy to test it, like I said, I tested the, the alerts quite easy to test the kills as well uh, because of that game over screen so yeah don't worry about big boss rank guys everything will be properly explained i mean one good thing as well it's just like the metal gear solid one you can pause the timer uh, by pressing options and leaving it on the screen which shows you what room you're in yeah so now the guards have spawned on the second silo yeah there's one of them and there's the other Right, I think that's it now, for the time being. I mean, when she gets past the second silo, a cypher appears behind the second one and tries to come at her from behind. Yes, yeah, so like I say, get your, get your directional mic out. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a long sequence, this. Quite a long sequence. On, on other difficulties, you can have claymores on her path as well. I mean, on very easy, it's very easy. I mean, I keep saying that, but this part is very easy on, you know, the lowest difficulty. Uh, but there will be some difficulties where there's like claymores in the path and it can make this bit a little bit messy. Yep, so once it gets past behind the second silo, gets behind it, guys, take out your directional mic and just listen in. Yeah, she'll bump into Johnny, who's, I guess, r relieving his bowels around the back there. Like 
It's probably Johnny on top of that, top of that building as well, I bet, p taking a piss. Johnny was taking a leak, I bet. Yeah, you see him around the back here. And he'll tell you everything there is to know about diarrhea. What are you talking about? Ancient history. Don't worry about it. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but does this mean you're letting me go? Well, you could have found a nicer way to say that, for sure. Better hurry. Thanks. Don't mention it. Just run like hell. Oh, you probably smell it from where you are. Not again. So, um, you probably know Johnny's going to be behind there. And there we go, guys, Johnny on the spot. Yeah, so once you got past that, that shit, yep, you get a trophy, guys. If you didn't get that, then you might not have done the first one properly. But you can do it on easy mode, don't worry. I'll point it out again to you on easy mode, um, just in case you didn't get it. Yep, so what's going to happen? A cypher is going to spawn behind her. It'll come behind that second silo. If you're looking where I am now, you'll see it come from around the back. And I think that's pretty much it on very easy. Yep, and then Vamp will appear again. Oh, there it is. It's coming out. You see it? Comes from behind that silo. Quite sneaky, that one is. Right, so when Vamp appears, you want to just keep shooting him at each leg um, with the tranquilizer. Don't try to shoot him in the middle one. It's a very, very small target to hit. And you've got to be very, very accurate to hit it. So just go for his two legs. You know, his left and right leg. And um, each time one, he'll put Emma in the line of fire and then switch to the other or you can I guess try to shoot through Emma straight into the leg yeah there's solid snake watching Johnny relieve his bowels around the back there I think that's what he's been watching all this time been zoomed in filming it yeah there you go so make him do a little dance that's it that's all you got to do guys very simple Right, so babysitting mission is finished. You'll be back up here. You call up through the hatch. Yep, so out this door. We kill the enemies, so they shouldn't be here. Yeah, about to go in the final, the sort of end part now, guys. So yeah, come through this door on the left. You see that level 5 door? There'll be a guy just inside on the left. Freeze. Listen to a top 10 hits. Are you going to shoot me yep, he's stubborn. I think he's been listening to either Tiger or something. Yep, so he's acting like a hero. Yep, get his dog tag and then break his neck. And then pick up this item, guys. This is the digital camera. Yeah, should have 42 dog tags at this point. There's one more to get. Yep, once you've got that digital camera, guys, get a trophy, guys. The photo finish. Right, let's go and finish the game. Yeah, equip your body armor. Pretty much what you can be using from from now on. Yeah, take the southeast exit. Once you go up the steps, then you want to take the west exit. We're out here. You want to take out all the ciphers. There should be three in total. Just be careful because they can see you. This one will turn to face you eventually. Yeah, shoot that one. Um, shoot that one there. Now it's going to be another one somewhere. I think the other one's to the west. So you might need to go out the doorway a little bit more to see it. Oh, there it is. Yep. So three ciphers all together. Once you shot three ciphers, you are good to go. There's no claymores here now, by the way, either. Yeah, so straight across here. Watch out for the trapdoors again. And all you got to do, guys, is go into the elevator and that trigger a cutscene. Or, or two. Lots of bugs down here. There we go. Right, time to get naked. Yeah, save your game here. You'll get asked.
Yeah, I've made a few saves. You've probably not seen me do them. It's because I've made little edits um, just where I made the safe. Right, so you're going to get tortured here. It's been a so, while, hasn't it? if you've been holding in all this time, <laughs> release that diarrhea. This is where Johnny would come in useful. Yeah, so you just spam triangle to hold your breath. You remember me, don't you? You've grown. High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory too? Yep, I say just spam it. It's not difficult. Maybe it's harder on big boss. Yep, there'll be a few more cutscenes and eventually guys you'll get another story trophy here. Yep, Olga is back. So you join Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. Yep, so she's gonna free you, but she's playing hard to get. Sharing is caring. Yeah, she'll give you a little a groin punch just to make things look real. That's it, then just wait a moment and you'll be free. Yep, free. All your bodily parts feel free as well to shake about and stuff. Yeah, the air is definitely getting to them. So we need to really quickly find something to put on. Because it's a little bit chilly and I'm afraid that people are going to notice how cold I am. Yep, so out here, and then out this door. And you'll find yourself in Arsenal gear. Right, it's so this guy, wait for him to walk back. Yep, and then run past him, and it'll be steps on the, on the right. And it's going to be a guard around this corner, so just wait for him to turn around. Yep, yeah, it's a guard there. Wait for him to turn around. And um, there's actually a box over here. You don't have to get that box. I'm just showing you where it is. But yeah, watch this loud flooring in the middle. And you can roll over this gap. But if nobody sees it, it won't actually trigger an alert. Look, you see it's a caution. And that doesn't count as an alert. Right, and you want to take this far north east door. Right, and come through here, guys. Yeah, so once in here, you want to activate and listen to each codec call. So if, every time you get a codec call, guys, listen to it. And you want to you run to this door and then run back. Yeah, we kind of keep running around. If you just stand still, it seems to take longer. I'm not entirely sure how this bit works. Um... I mean, you got to get through the calls, but if you just if you just stand still, you'll keep getting loads. You have to sort of run back a bit. I mean, I don't. I stand here for a little while, and then eventually run back, and then I've, and then Rose finally calls. So that's what you're trying to trigger. You're trying to trigger a call from Rose. But I think I've had it trigger quicker than this before as well. But it's when I ran south, a little bit quicker. I mean, in the official guide, it says to um check both doors locked so you go to this door you go to southernmost door and then you just keep kind of running back and forth listening to all the codec calls Yeah, so it's a bit, a little bit of an annoying part, because he'll just, he'll just go on for ages, uh, Colonel. Yeah, he'll just keep talking and talking. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so start, run back, guys, and hopefully, oh, there we go. Maybe that's the realistic hand trigger, but yeah, just keep going through codec calls, running back and forth, and eventually Rose will call you. Right, and then shortly after, you'll hear Snake, and there'll be a cutscene or two. You get a trophy, guys. Weapon completionist plant, because the sword is the final trophy. Now, before you attack with your weapon, 
Make sure you do this before you attack with a weapon. Very, very important. Right. You want to hold up state. Well, not hold him up, but you want to grab him from behind. Choke him a few times. Grab him from behind again. Choke him a few times. Now you want to keep doing this until he drops his dog tag. Until he drops down unconscious. That's it. And then when he does, pick him up and drop him. So he drops his dog tag. And there it is, guys. The final dog tag. Pliskin. Yeah, so make sure you get his dog tag before you start attacking with a blade. Because you have to attack with a blade to actually finish this. To actually trigger the story. To finish, um, sorry, progress the story. Damn kid. Yeah, so just keep attacking with a blade, guys. It, it normally triggers earlier than this. Yeah, you use the right analog stick and just keep attacking. I mean, I, I ran back, I ran a little bit back towards the door here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so keep attacking with a blade. I guess run back towards the door. I try to find out exactly um, what he needs to do there to get through that bit as quick as possible. You know, before the big boss rank. Right, so here, we're going to do... No, yeah, I'm going to do a little glitch here. Yeah, this is when I started getting a bit worried about the box trophy. So I, I thought I'd equip them all, see if that works. No, it don't. So yeah, at this point, it, it had glitched for me. Like I said, I've got the box trophy on a reload later. I mean, you should still have it. That's me seeing if I had to equip them. Right, so we're going to use stun grenades. These stun grenades, I don't think they count as kills. I will check this ready for big boss rank. But yeah, lob of stun grenades... Yeah, I don't know why, but it actually kills the enemies, but I don't think it counts as a kill. Yeah, so just keep running forward, lobbing them in front of you, like so. Yep, and then once you get to the exit, guys, what you're going to do, you're going to lean against the exit. You're going to hold, yeah, lean against it, hold R1, then you're going to let go off lean. So you, yep, so lean against it, hold R1, let go off leaning, but keep R1 pressed, and then do a melee combo. And then when you do the kick, let go of R1, and it kind of turn you around, and it will glitch you through the door like so. It kind of, it'll kind of advance that sequence much quicker. Because normally you've got to kill so many enemies before the door will open, but that allows you to get through it quicker. And then this scene, just come through here, guys, and let Snake kill them all. You see, these don't count as kills either towards you. Yeah, don't worry, Snake killing them does not count. And then all I do, I equip my blue blade. The blue blade is the um. The one which will knock him out. The red one will kill him. You press square to swap between the blue and black. Uh, blue and red, sorry, yeah. Red will kill him. Blue will knock him out. And R3, the lunge attack, will kill enemies even on even if it's on blue mode. So, so never use the lunge attack. But yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stay here. If, enemy, if any enemies come towards me, I'm just going to knock them out. But they shouldn't. So Nate should kill them all. Yep. Try not to mail this mission, this fission. Yeah, so I just mentioned again, guys, that, that little glitch on that back room. Yeah, so you run to the far door, you back, you hold back to, um, you know, stand up against it. You go into first person mode. Then while you're in first person mode, you need to let go of holding against the door because you can't melee and hold against the door at the same time. So you have to let go of that. Then while you're still holding R1, quickly do a melee combo, and then on the kick, let go of R1, and then that will make you glitch through the door. And then after that second fight, guys, yeah, them two fights we just had, they count as the two alerts, by the way. So the first one is one alert, and the other one is the other. So that's three alerts in total. We've got one in the oil field. We've got one in that first fight there. Uh, one in the second fight. So that's your three alerts you allowed in the game, guys. Them three spots. So if you ever continue in any of them rooms, it's going to carry over another alert, and then another one, and then another one, for example. Yeah, just letting you know, guys, where all the alerts are. So here, you want to have the Stinger Missile ready. On very easy, you only have to kill three of these. On Big Boss, I think you have to kill 20. So it's pretty mad. But yeah, on easy, you only have to kill three. But yeah, you always want your body armor equipped. I didn't mention, but I have mentioned it before, how important it is. But yeah, you pretty much want your body armor equipped all the time now. Yeah, so to kill these, you're just going to aim on the... You're going to hit one in the knee. And then when it drops its head, you're going to shoot it in its head. And that will kill one of them. 
and then but once you kill the first one quickly you want to run back a bit because a second one will try to jump on you so you shoot one in the knee then in the head to kill it then you run back about five or ten steps and then kill the one which jumps on you and then kill the third one and then that's it guys done yep so knee shot knee cap it for stinger yep and you probably noticed as well you get all your ammo refilled after the torture scene right so you kill the first one he'll jump on you you run back dodge him a kneecap and then the head and the third one kneecap on the head yeah they just keep spawning uh, but like i say big boss you have to kill 20 very easy you only have to kill three right we've got one more boss fight guys there's no escape sequence like there is on metal gear solid one like i say this feels a much shorter game so it's going to make a save here because there is a misc trophy in on the end credits which can be quite easy to miss the arsenal ai is corrupted beyond I admit that I underestimated you. <clears throat> I'll squeeze the answers out of you instead, my son. So yeah, I mean, this guy is... Yeah, I wasn't ready. I was looking at my notes, I think, and I wasn't watching. But yeah, just be ready to um, spam triangle when he grabs you during the cutscene, <laughs> like so. And it's, it's quite easy. Um, I mean, it's going to be different on big boss rank. But for now, just kill him. Um, you just use your R1 to um, attack him with a blade. Obviously, try to cartwheel through some of his attacks. What you want to try and do is just try to get behind him and attack him from behind. Because if you come from the front and he's about to do an attack, his attack will likely hit you. But if you try to run, if you try to run behind him, most of his attacks should miss, even if you don't know what's coming. Uh, but when he's doing the fire, you're going to try to kind of dodge out of the way. You know, if you can't wheel. What you right. Yep, so you just attack him with a blade, guys. You can normally get a few hits in until you knock him down. And then you want to sort of back up and wait for the next opportunity. Yeah, so watch out for the rockets. And yeah, that's what happened if you're sort of running towards him. That's where you need to be trying to run behind. Yeah, if you grab your vice tentacles, you will need to spam triangle to get him to release you. Yeah, we use them blue blade. So make sure you press square to change it to blue. Remember, you're trying to knock him out, not kill him. Yeah, so um, when he reaches half HP, or half stamina, I guess, he will get a little bit more aggressive. Just try not to get too close to the edge like I am, because he can knock you off. Yeah, then what we'll start to do is when he does his fire attack, he'll sort of lunge at you as well, so to be careful he don't catch you with that. Yeah, so on the final cutscenes, don't skip them too fast. When you get to this cutscene where Snake and Raiden are stood beside each other, you're going to watch this one. Now you can press R2 to zoom in and use the right stick to look at to move around. Yeah, and what you need to do is when the camera pans, pans around to the front of them, press R2 and look between them and you'll see vamp in the distance. You don't actually need to move the camera, you just need to press R2 and that pops a trophy. So, yep, yeah, hold R2, and, and my own life. yep, I'm holding R2, there he is, Vamp is just in the middle of him, and you'll get a trophy, guys, Vampire. That's the scene, Vamp, during the end cutscene. And that's for the final cutscenes, guys. Of course. I'm going to skip most of these, because they do take a long time. I remember now. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> that's it.
Yep, so skip the cutscene, that's my final results. So yep, I saved, I saved 12 times, had three alerts, which are mandatory. You cannot get less than three. A cut buff, that's for being the tanker and the plant. A complete stealth, that's completed without any alerts, which are not mandatory. Like I say, don't worry about that. If you didn't get that now, you will get it on your big boss rank, no matter what. You will unlock the digital camera. That's all you would have unlocked at this point, guys. And that's it, the very easy playthrough. Make sure you make a save, uh, because you need to save all these dog tags in order to unlock the um, unlockables, which you need for trophies. Yep, so that's the first playthrough done, guys. Like I say, this will be its own video, but we've got to do EC, all dog tags, big boss, and then um, all the extra modes. Which hopefully I can get some of them up in the next few days at least. So yep, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Any questions, lob them in the comments. And thank you for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.